please be sure to use support the creator code justical when buying things in the item shop. I will give a shout out to someone who can prove they bought something with it in my next video. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Now we're still not about those five minute intros, but I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who watched my previous video and that got it to 100,000 views. You made my dreams come true in my six year YouTube journey. Now I will be uploading as frequently as possible, but if you want more content, then please follow me on Twitch where I will be streaming five days a week. I know how much you guys like the video, so my next video will be my one month progress. I'm not gonna milk it with week two, three, four, five, six, whatever, cause I wanna keep it real with you guys. And I think it will be more enjoyable to see bigger progress in one month than tiny progress every week. Quality over quantity, boys. Enjoy the video. So you want to know how to get better. Stop right there. We are not going into solos yet. You're going to get destroyed. Since all of you have been asking for my keybinds, sensitivity and settings, I will show you that first and give you some advice. The problem that most people have when they first start to switch to keyboard and mouse is that they don't know what keybinds to pick. There are a lot. So what you want to do is get the whole see what you're comfortable with advice out of your head and pick the keybinds from a streamer you really like. Why? Because you're not going to be comfortable with any keybinds at the start and you need to learn something that already works for someone. Then. After you have practiced with it, make changes where you feel are necessary. This will help you pick up the pace fast. For example, I picked the keybinds of TFU as he's arguably one of the best players in the world. Got used to them, then decided I wanted the last two item slots on scroll wheel and my edit on left control. I have a strong pinky and this felt natural for me. I also have sprint by default on and use shift to crouch as I am used to pressing it a lot from the CSGO days. After that, you want to get your sensitivity the same way as well. I got my sensitivity personally from Svenos with 10x and 10y, where I adapted the scope sensitivity and targeting sensitivity to my own likings. Also, 400 dpi felt too slow for me, so I cranked it up to 500. You want to get a mouse that has a dpi button, as you need to know what dpi you're on. I made the mistake at the start and had to get used to a whole new sense when I got my new mouse. If you're still having trouble, this is something that helped me back in the CSGO days. If you can do a 180 in-game with one full mouse swipe, from one side of the mousepad to the other side of the mousepad, then you should be good to go. Now that that is out of the way, go into creative and stay there for a few hours. I'm serious. Make sure you have a few hours free for this. Practice 90s and after that floor ramp wall and double floor ramp wall. This will get you used to building overall. Trust me, if you get this down, then building overall will be a lot easier for you in combat. Start out by doing your 90s slow, then slowly pick up the pace until you can do a few in a row without fail. Practice triple 90s the same way. And last but not least, get used to floor ramp wall and then double floor ramp wall. This is how I do it. All right, so this is the way I learned my floor ramp wall and my double floor ramp wall. There's a lot of different variations to this, but this is the one I found easiest. So I'm gonna start off with a ramp, then a floor, and then a wall. As I said, there's different variations to this, but this is the one I found easiest. So it will look something like this. Stair, floor, wall. In that order. Now the same thing goes for double floor ramp wall, but you just have to get the pattern down of pressing the keys. And you have to shake your mouse correctly. So this is how I learned the double floor ramp wall. Two ramps, two floors, two walls. Go up, stair, stair, floor, floor, wall, wall. Now once you get that movement down, you want to do it while running. So it will look something like this. Make sure you shake your mouse correctly, otherwise you're gonna miss places. And that way, if you just get the pattern down and shake your mouse correctly, you will never make any mistakes in your double floor and wall. Done? Good. Now, practice 1v1s with your friends. This will get you used to realistic build battles and improve your aim and flick shots. Make sure you use ARs as well for extra practice. Don't have a friend available? You can always join me on Monday and Thursday on Twitch at 14.30 PM CET, that's half past two, where I do 1v1s with my viewers. Or if I'm not online, join random playground lobbies and ask for 1v1s. This always works for me. Now, you are finally ready for solos. Please, for the love of God, don't join scrims yet because you see your favorite YouTuber or streamer do it. You're not ready for it. You need to get the basic skills down first. Also, if you want, practice with your old buddies from PlayStation or Xbox in some squads. Cross-platform lobbies are sometimes easier and it's more fun to practice with others. Now here's where this guide is completely different from all the others you've seen. Don't land D. 
tilted. Yes, you heard it. Land somewhere with people, but not too many people. Think about Lucky Landing, Pleasant Park, Paradise Palms, or anything at the end of the bus. This will help you with understanding the looting mechanic on keyboard and to pick up items as fast as you can while sorting them out in the right item spots afterwards. Getting good at this is crucial before you land at crowded places like Tilted because you're going to get clapped by people who know how to pick up items fast and sort them to the right place. Yes, landing Tilted will make your reactions, aim and sometimes building better but you won't even get to that point without a gun and you will get demotivated quickly. Also, after leaving one of these places, go for the win. Don't play aggressive, but also don't play too passive. Try to get some low kill wins to get your confidence up. Confidence is a major key in actually improving. Whenever I feel down and not confident in my gameplay, I usually perform way worse than when I'm actually confident in my gameplay. This will help you with challenging people and landing at places like Tilted. You done all that? Good. Now you are allowed to land the Tilted and fight for the one grey pistol in Big Bertha. Now from here on it's just practicing and trying out new things every day when it comes to building and editing. Aim will come over time, no worries, just keep playing. However, this was a routine that helped me get on the skill level that I was at the end of the first week, but it will not guarantee you the same success. Once again you have to put in the time and effort and mechanical skill will also play a huge role as well. Some people find it easier to pick things up than others. Don't let it get to your head, keep grinding, stay motivated and hopefully this video puts you a step in the right direction. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like on it and consider subscribing. I saw how much you guys liked the one week progression video so I hope you're hyped for the one month. Now I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video.